The new nationalism, what a timely theme. Could it be the new populism as well? Well, it's actually they're connected because if you think about the nation state, the term nation state, it combines two things. We think of it as one thing, but there's the nation and the state. The state is a political community. The mm -hmm. nation is a social group. And the question of nationalism really is what are the claims of the social group on the state? And part of that raises the question of who is the nation? Is it just anybody who's a citizen? Who is it's Donald Trump's nation right now? We're just talking to really about the need to negotiate. For, with all of your expertise, Gideon, all the resources of the Council on Foreign Affairs, what is the negotiation ability of Trump nation right now? The really interesting question is, are politicians in America now going to essentially think with their subnational identities, their political constituencies, their identity groups, or anything resembling a national identity in which they can make a deal for the nation as a whole, whether the okay, Trump getting... administration or the, their opponents are willing to do that at this point or whether we're locked in a partisan battle in which identity politics and partisan politics are now so overlapping that you can't get any kind of deal and you essentially get a frozen, cold political civil war, that would be the worst case scenario of what happens going forward. It's possible, but I hope we can avoid that. But Gideon, I keep on hearing and people telling me that actually no one wants a shutdown, right? That this is the worst possible outcome because everybody ends up looking really bad. Everybody ends up, uh, you know, the, their base is hurt. Is that true? Uh, well, there are different reasons why different people <clears throat> don't like a shutdown. Some people don't like it because it actually interferes with government because they think government does things and they don't want that to be interrupted. Other people care about the politics and the optics of it. Does it make me look bad because I'm getting blamed? And so I think a lot of people care about the shutdown ending, but not everybody cares about it ending for constructive reasons. And that's the really interesting question. How do politics merge with technocratic realities of actual policy? And that's the fight we're having, because not everybody is playing the policy game. Too many people in Washington are playing the politics game. Okay, but on, on politics and the politics game, this is right. a very simple and kind of almost basic question. If there's a shutdown, will the president be blamed for it? And so d does it hurt his voting in 2020? I would think so, yes. If you say, this is my deal, this is what I want, and it happens, then I think you own that. And I think the public did not seem to like the shutdown. And so if it happens again, they'll probably say the same thing they said the first time.